This video I want to show you how you can utilize in Figma native arrows like you can in FigGem which are dynamic and essentially are very flexible. So the very first method is uh, say that you're in your Figma file, you can actually go ahead, uh, open up a FigGem, you can create uh, a arrow which you can easily do that from here. So you just have this uh, arrow now and I can go back to the Figma file and then natively just uh, copy it. And as you can see, you're going to have uh, the same flexible arrow which uh, you previously had in FigGem directly in your Figma file. And uh, as expected, uh, you can go ahead and uh, change the color and uh, pretty much change uh, all of the other variables, uh, uh, such as the width, uh, the corner radius, uh, so on and so forth. Now, there is a, a easier and a faster way uh, to do it uh, if uh, you're already in uh, your Figma file uh, without you having to go and open up a new FigGem document. Uh, uh, you can uh, simply utilize uh, the pen tool and uh, you can go ahead and uh, basically create whatever path uh, you need to create uh, in order to connect uh, the screens uh, in uh, the UX flow. And um, I'm simply going to select uh, the <clears throat> line arrow in this case, uh, and I'm going to make the weight uh, just a little bit bigger so that you can uh, see it more easily. And uh, we pretty much uh, have uh, our uh, arrow. Now, the corner radius was set uh, already by default, uh, so most likely what you're going to see once you utilize the pen tool in order to create this arrow is going to be something around these lines. But um, if, uh, again, if you want to make uh, this arrow less edgy, you can simply adjust the corner radius. So you can easily uh, do that uh, for the entirety of the arrow, or you can double click. Uh, and as you can see, the moment that I double click on the arrow, I'm going to enter into edit mode. And this is going to allow me, for example, to select uh, an individual edge and uh, I can even adjust the corner radius for that edge. So say that I want it uh, like this, uh, or I want uh, to adjust the corner radius to be even more, I can easily do that uh, individually. And um, <clears throat> this arrow that we just created, uh, again, if I double click and enter edit mode, uh, you can easily adjust it. Uh, so it's not uh, something that uh, is uh, set in stone, but you can easily adjust this arrow and uh, I can even go ahead and uh, delete part of the arrow. So again, very flexible, very similar to some degree <clears throat> to what you would expect in uh, FigGem. And uh, this is the way you want to go for it uh, in uh, 2025 uh, and uh, moving uh, forward. So I hope this video was helpful. If you want to learn more about Figma entirely for free, I have hundreds of videos on my channel. So feel free to check it out and I'll see you in the very next one.